and what we find is a beautiful type A. So what is the air all about? When we introduce the puff of air into the ear, it's going to retract the eardrum into the middle ear. And I'm gonna tell you that there is absolutely no attenuation from 90 degrees. That in the United States, we utilize what is called relative bone conduction, audiometry. Meaning that when we test the test ear, the ear that the bone oscillator is behind, that ear is unoccluded. More motivated to wear a cross in this particular case. Uh, and of course, the same thing in 364. Here we have an unable right ear. Every battery has a milliamp hour rating. Every hearing aid circuit has a current drain. And there is a formula to determine the battery life based on the milliamp hour rating of that battery and the current drain of that circuit. Um, if an individual has an otitis infection externa of the outer ear. All right, now let's talk about the Quicksend. The Quicksend stands for Quick Speech and Noise. So here you can see in slide 143, you can see that at 500 hertz, so we set the instrument at 500 hertz. Because she's not complaining about things being too loud. She has binaural degradation. The ear with the 44% discrimination, she's wearing two hearing aids. She's got a symmetrical loss, but the poorer ear is taking away from all the good we're doing in the better ear, and she's suffering from binaural degradation. Certainly in the case of a conductive hearing loss. So how do we check for internal feedback? How do we know that it's actually internal feedback? Well, there's a very easy way to check for it. We're going to turn the volume control in full-on position, and we're then going to cover the receiver and the vent of the hearing aid. When they no longer hear it by bone conduction, I'm going to hold it to the aperture, and if they don't hear it, because we're always gonna hear longer and better by air conduction than we do by bone conduction. Uh, and based on touch and sensitivity, you need to be comfortable holding the curette in such a way that you have complete control over it, uh, yet if you run into uh, uh, the wall of the ear canal, the curette is going to slide back very easily in your hand so that you're not ever gonna injure the patient.